What's going on YouTube? Good morning. It's uh, March 22nd, Wednesday, 9.14 a.m. So today I uh, I can kind of finally put this video out. I've been waiting to put it out for a while. And yesterday was my last day at my full-time job. I put my two weeks notice in two weeks ago. I didn't want to put anything out on like the channel or you know like tell people until I was officially done with it because I didn't want to interfere with my last two weeks there and uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna be kind of going out on my own and I don't want to say I'm gonna be starting my own business yet because I feel like that's a little OD right now because I don't actually have anything big set up uh, but I'm gonna be freelancing for a while and uh, I, you know I have a lot of a lot of goals and kind of ambitions that I want to go after right now. And to me, like I, I value like the time and the freedom and my creativity a lot more than I value money. So for the last couple of years, I've been, I've been in the marketing industry. If you follow my channel, you probably knew that. And I, uh, I've been doing mostly paid social media for the clients that I've worked with. So a lot of paid Facebook advertising and I've been running them and I realized, you know, I can do this on my own. You know, like I can go out and talk to the local businesses and the small businesses in my area and, you know, run campaigns for them, um, as well as mix in a few other things that I've learned along the way, basic website design, things like that, if they need. Um, so, you know, it, I see like a huge opportunity here for, for th this type of marketing, the Facebook marketing in particular, especially for small businesses, um, because small business owners don't don't know anything about marketing, you know, and I've been in the field for the last two years, so I kind of see what works, what doesn't work. And uh, I, I really think that, you know, social media is, social media is the internet right now. And people, you li literally, this is your, your remote control for your life, this little piece, piece of the puzzle right there. And uh, I, I think marketing is just all about where the attention is and the attention is on your phone and the attention is on social media. So I think a lot of brands and a lot of companies that do marketing put their money in places that they're, they're just throwing away money, you know? And um, I think I just need to get out there and kind of tell these small businesses that if they market the right way, it's gonna be really easy for them to grow. And you know, the prices that you're paying now on Facebook uh, to advertise, is is going to multiply by 10 in in five years you're going to be paying 10 times the amount for the amount of results that you're getting right now so this is an opportunity i saw and i wanted to pounce on really quickly um and building on that i i think that's like uh that'll be my my revenue source for now my plan is to onboard a few clients first um i have two and we'll get into that in a minute uh this is i'm recording this on the wednesday the day after my last day of work, but the following clips will be from like prior week, like last week or something like that. My plan is to onboard a few clients and I want to run free trials with them, you know, because that's a value prop to them. Like, let me run this campaign for you for 30 days, you're absolutely free. And if I do a good job, you know, they'll continue to do business with me. And I think that's a good place to start. I don't want to like rush into anything. I don't want to get crazy. Um, but I, I kind of want to, you know, experience the whole building a business thing along the, along the way and show you guys step by step things that I did right, things I did wrong, where I failed. Just like, I don't know, I just want to put everything out there and get everything recorded and hopefully it could help someone or maybe inspire or motivate anyone out there that's, that's kind of looking to do the same thing. It doesn't have to be the same, you know, marketing industry kind of shit, but that's, that's what I would like to do to build a business. That, that's my plan for this. And I think it's a good niche and I think that I think people have the wrong idea when they when they say like, oh, I'm gonna start my own business. I don't think you need to, you don't have to build the next Google or the next Amazon or the next Spotify, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like everyone thinks that when you do that, you automatically have to be the next Mark Zuckerberg or you like failed, right? I think you got you gotta have realistic goals. Like, what do you actually want? Like for me, I, like I said, I value my time, my freedom, my creativity. So what I really want is to be able to work for myself, to be able to, work from home or work from wherever I want and I want to have the creativity to still be able to do the YouTube channel, still be able to you know work out all the time whenever I want to. Um, obviously I have to still make money but money's not as valuable to me as those other things so if, if I can build up to the point where I'm making the same salary as I was prior to this, that's, that's fine. I don't need to be making half a million dollars a year or anything like that. So I think it's important to put in perspective what you really want when when you're kind of jumping into something like this.
Yeah, you know, there's just a lot of visions, a lot of uh, a lot of things that I, I want to go after, and I think, and I think they'll come. I think it, it's just going to be a mixture of hard work, passion, and and kind of dedication into this. And I think over the next year or two, uh, I'll be able to build something really good. You know, what I would like ideally to do is be able to niche down in terms of small business. You know, there's I could drive up and down my block and hit ten to fifteen different ones and go in there and try to pitch it. But I want to niche down in um, certain areas, whether that be maybe gyms or restaurants or just for, you know, um, like doctors or vets or something like that, where it's very specific and I can help specific people, you know, that way I can specialize and kind of become an expert in the field and help those kind of people grow. But that's only going to come with experience and seeing what I like, what I don't like. I think also uh, I want to get like pretty, not like serious about the YouTube things. I've been doing it, but I want to like make sure that I continue to put out good content. I want to be able to do that consistently. So what I want to do is I, I want to have a schedule where I put out, I don't know if it's going to be three or four videos a week. And I want to, you know, have a schedule where it's like Monday is maybe a recap of everything I did business wise in the week prior. And then like Wednesday would be a fantasy football video. Friday would be maybe like a style fashion video. And then Sunday would be a fitness nutrition kind of video. So, I, you know, I have a lot of these plans and, and, and I'm excited to kind of sit down and organize all my thoughts and kind of get right after it. Right. So that's kind of where my head's at. And I figure, you know, like I'm 24 years old. I have money saved up from the last few years. I'm not, I'm not, my main concern is not about making money right now because I'll be, I'll be okay for a while. And I just, you know, I have a good support team around me. I have my best friends. I have my mom, my, my family and things like that, that, that always support me, which is cool. And I know I'm in a position that's much better than a lot of people. You know, if you have like kids, obviously you can't just up and leave your job and, and do something like this, or it takes a lot more effort, a lot more time and dedication to get to the point where you're comfortable doing it. So I, in my opinion, I don't think there's a lot of risk as long as I don't really care what the fuck other people think about me. You know, like I feel like that's 90% of the battle with most people is really getting to that. And uh, it simply comes down to one thing. It comes down to the fact that I know when I'm 35 and 40, if I don't do this now, I'm gonna regret the shit out of it. And that's kind of what drives me to do this. Uh, regret is such a big drive for me, um, you know. You make, you make your choices in your life and you either go after it or you don't and you live with them, right? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. These next few clips will actually be me on the call with my, um, my first client call basically, um, kind of like a pitch and then uh, my second one after that too. I didn't actually, I couldn't bring the camera in to talk to the owner of the store, but I kind of talked about before going in and then after again. So. Um, I think that was kind of nifty. Other things I've been looking into, you know, when you're starting a, a business or a company or whatever, you know, like most people are, you have no idea what you're doing, right? Like you're like, oh shit, what do I do for tax purposes? What do I do for this, that, and the other thing? This is, this is stuff that you have to kind of research and hopefully I can get this out to you and it'll help some people. Um, so, you know, first thing you look into is like becoming an LLC. And you don't actually have to do that when you start a company. You can be a sole proprietor or sole proprietorship. You could have that. An LLC, you know, you have to go through a lot of legal documents. You have to pay upfront fees along with, I think, an annual fees. I didn't look too much into it because I know you don't have to do that until you're making more, you know, more serious money. Uh, what it does, it, it provides you with more tax breaks. So all the expenses that you have that are towards business, say I'm buying like a computer or I'm buying camera equipment, which is going towards my business, you could write that off when you're doing your taxes. So that's, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages. Right now, I think it's kind of like, I, I I don't know if I want to deal with the upfront costs and, you know, it, it's like time, it's a lot of time invested right now into looking into whether or not I want to be an LLC, create the name, create everything like official. I just, it's like a short term thing that would be a hit, but a long term, it's probably good in the long term, but I'm not going to do it yet. I, obviously, I'll keep you guys updated if I'm going to be giving weekly recaps of this stuff. So anyways I uh yeah that was I wanted to get that out and I'm I'm, uh, I'm excited I finally got it off my chest kind of and uh, you know it's time to fucking grind now now there's no excuse people are like I, I've been talking to my friends about it the last few days like oh what are you gonna do you're gonna chill for a while and I'm like no way man like I feel like now that I've done this and I made this move the pressure's on and I gotta go out there and really fucking put everything I have into this and and just grind for forever you know, it, there's no stopping now. It's just, it's just, you work, you work, you work. And it doesn't feel like work because I'm, uh, I'm like super passionate about this. I'm super into it. So, you know, this is like what I want to spend my day doing. So I'm excited. I finally made the move and you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun ride. So 
stay tuned. Also, I do have I do have some visions for the uh, for the YouTube channel, and I know like organically growing the channel takes so much fucking hard work and so much time. So it's gonna be a while before I do this, but uh, I definitely want to get into um, selling some kind of selling some kind of products. Um, my first, I, I want it to be kind of like a lifestyle brand. So my first thoughts were um, clothing. So I want to do hats, maybe a sweatshirt. Um, I want to do a pre-workout supplement. I have to, you know, do a little more digging on, on supplementation and talking to, I've talked to some manufacturers about some things, but I think I'm way off from that. I need way bigger of a following before I actually invest into product and things like that. Um, like shaker bottles for like protein shakes and all those kind of things. But I want to make sure everything is top notch, really high quality. Um, I don't want to just buy shit for the sake of buying it and trying to sell it without being set up in the right position. So that's that's my future goals and these are like my plans going forward. I know it's not gonna happen overnight, but if, I, if I'm patient, I work hard, this shit can happen. I'm excited and I hope y'all are too. Love y'all. What kind of printer still makes that noise in 2017? It's March 11th, about 6.40 a.m. You know, we're early to bed, early to rise. And I have my, I'm gonna get on the phone today with my first possible client, with him and his video guy. So the client basically does everything for weddings, um, photography, photo booths, entertainment, DJ, things like that. So that could be really interesting. It's actually a, my cousin got married to him last year, two years ago. You know, it's really easy to look in network first. So I figured I'd reach out to him and he was like, oh, perfect. I'm actually looking to start look, um, looking for a guy who does Facebook advertising. I was like, fucking sweet, let's go. He was like, listen, I want results though. I'm like, I'm not looking for no damn handouts. So, um, you know, I want to get ready for this meeting, prove to him that I know my shit, prove to him that I'd be a good fit. And he's like, I want someone that's, you know, inexpensive, that's going to grow with the company. And I was like, bet, it's me, dog. So doing research. Now, when you're doing Facebook advertising, the reason I think that this is so good and so such a big opportunity for small businesses is that Facebook, the reason Facebook is so valuable people don't understand they're like oh yeah facebook is worth 50 billion dollars whatever it's because they have so much data and they have like b billions of people using it and they have all their information so they can use that data to advertise now and that's where people pay the big bucks that's where all these marketers pay so much money to advertise on their platform and it's really just getting started which is why now is when you want to get into it before it hits its height of popularity because it's the least expensive it's going to be now in five, ten years. The prices you have to pay for the advertising on Facebook is going to be seven to ten times the amount. So if you want to get in now, it's when you build your business. Um, so they can target for, for this client in particular. There's so many different ways to target. You can target by demographic, you can target by gender, by geolocation. You can basically put this piece of code that Facebook gives you like you know if you're like typing code for a website or something you put this piece that Facebook gives you onto your website or onto the thank you page when someone orders something and you can basically retarget to those people so if someone comes to your page the pixel fires it Facebook tells you that someone came to your page and then you can start targeting ads towards those people and the coolest part, which would be perfect for this client in particular, is you can target people who are engaged, who are newly engaged within the last six months, who are newly engaged just in the last 12 months. And that's pretty much going to be one of the target audiences that I focus on and that I pitch to him. But um, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes and that you need to get way more in detail on, which is why I'm working on it now. So, you know, doing a little research, want to make sure I'm ready and prepared. So always work behind the scenes to be done. And again, I want to kind of touch on the topic of, um, you know, if, if you're starting off on your own and, and you're on a client based business, I think for me in particular, I wanted to, cause I'll be marketing for them. I wanted to see who had, um, you know, who would be a potential fit for me. Obviously you start in market anyone that's a small business cause that's going to be my niche. 
you know, and you look around like who has marketing budget, you know, these little coupons that get sent around, like the, the stores that are in there, obviously they have marketing budget to work with. Um, now you can check their website, their Facebook page, get more details on them. If uh, Google has a cool, a cool extension that it's called the Facebook Pixel Helper and you install it and then you can go to any website, any web page. And when you go to it, it either pops up green or red, or actually it either pops up green or it doesn't pop up at all. So if it pops up green, that tells you that they're already using the Facebook pixel and they're already tracking their stuff. So for me in particular, I would go around to some of the local business websites. If, if it doesn't pop up, if it doesn't, you know, if the Facebook pixel doesn't fire, that means they're not using Facebook advertising yet, which is what I can, you know, I could tell them, Hey, listen, I, I see that you're not using it yet. I want to, be able to run, you know, free 30 days for you, see how the results work. And if you think we can partner up afterwards, great, let's do it. But again, if you're trying to build a client base, I think the key is providing value upfront for them. You know, it's not diving in and charging an absurd amount because no one's going to do that. They don't trust you. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you bring to the table. So you have to show them if you're the real deal, then you'll be able to grow in the long run anyway. So the short term can't be what your goal is. The short term can't be, you know, your everything. You can't put all your eggs into the short term basket, you have to think long term because, you know, giving up some money, giving up some time up front, is going to be way better for yourself in the long run. That's what I believe, at least. So we'll see within the next six, six months to a year, whether or not that's the truth. Day to day, I'm blind to see and find how far to go. Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. We're just catching and releasing. What builds up throughout the day It gets into your body And it flows right through your blood We can tell each other secrets And remember how to love da -da -dum, da -dum, dum -dum. I'm getting on the phone sometime between 1 and 2 It's 1.15 right now so I'm about to hit him up know, talk about his main audience The goals of this campaign What he wants to accomplish Along with a bunch of other technical shit That goes into setting up these Facebook campaigns So um I'm going to film what I can, put the phone on speaker, hopefully you guys can hear it well. And uh, that's it, it's my first client call. I'm kind of nervous, but I prepped a lot. I think I'm ready to roll, so hopefully we can lock it down. What's up, bro? Yo, what's going on, Tim? You know, obviously Facebook, as an advertising platform, wants to put the best product out there. You know, they want to give the, give the best content, basically, to their, to their viewers, so any kind of, like, engagement, any kind of engagement that goes past just a simple like, like what you were saying, a heart or whatever, is gonna stay up on the news feed for a longer time. Understand, I guess, um, your goal. I know you said that, you know, awareness is obviously the goal. That's always, you know, that, that's a side effect of any kind of marketing campaign. Um, I'm thinking like in terms of something that is like measurable, you know, because when you're running campaigns like this, uh, there's a lot of metrics, a lot of numbers behind it. So you have to kind of, have a measurable goal to see what works and what doesn't. And that's the only email. And obviously this is this is a longer sales funnel than say if you're fucking working for an e-commerce site that has $4 t-shirts. You know, you don't really give a shit. You order the t-shirt, it's game over. Um, this is, you know, this is for their wedding. So it's not something that they want to take lightly. So I'm thinking like they send you contact, you know, what do you do back? Do you email them back? Do you call content? Okay, so that that's why you made that. I think I saw the video the other day you did of a specific place, right? The park chateau. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're trying to get in there heavy. The photo booth cost me right. uh, two hundred bucks to run. Mm -hmm. If that with paying someone, like paying someone to run it. So like we use that a lot to steal. No, I should have it over to you by like four or five tonight. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, and uh, like I said, once once we get rolling, I'll be. Okay. So got off the call. Went very well. Um, we are gonna be running for him for free. Keep in mind he's a family friend, uh, but at the same time, you have to have some kind of hook, some kind of reason why they would stick with you. You know, he's on a budget, obviously. He uh, can't afford to really shell out a bunch of money on marketing at the moment, but once you prove yourself, if you're good enough, you'll be able to prove yourself, and thus, you will be able to charge. So that's kind of where I'm at. I need to send him over, because uh, there's a lot to do before the campaign actually kind of kicks off. So. I gotta send him over a to-do list, make it as easy as possible for him. Good first clinical, I'm excited. All right, so it's about 7.30 right now, 
and uh, I have my haircut appointment at 7.45 in like 15 minutes. And that's important to you and to me because while I go to get my haircut, I'm going to be talking to the owner of the barbershop about possibly onboarding him as client number two. Uh, from the last clip, if you listen to the phone call, I'm going to be running the Facebook ads for the wedding company, the entertainment company service of the family friend that I got off the phone with. Uh, so this could possibly be, sorry, I pace around my house when I get nervous. This could possibly be client number two, which would be dope. So I'm gonna be talking to the owner of the barber shop. So I've literally just been kind of like pacing around my house for the last 20 minutes, practicing my pitch. Don't wanna fuck anything up. And uh, I'm pretty excited, I'm kind of nervous, but you know, if you wanna do, you wanna do big things, you gotta step out of your comfort zone a little bit. And these are the first steps in doing so. By the time you're seeing this video, I'll either be running the campaign for him or I won't be, so this could be depressing or it could be super happy. Uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Right before I go into the place, I'll, I'll do a little pep talk. All right, YouTube fam. The Baba Shop's right over there. It's like three stores down. I'm about to go in. Wish me luck. No way that fucking worked. I'm in a totally different spot, and um, I think I snapped with my wrong hand, but whatever, you get the point. All right, so I just got out of the meeting. It went really well. I talked to them for um, like 45 minutes for an hour. It went way better than I expected. Not that I didn't expect it to go well, but you know, we got we had really good conversation about a lot of things. Um, and interestingly, so like I said, I'm going into a barber shop, right? And I'm thinking. I want to run a campaign to get more customers in the door. He's super interested, and uh, I mean, I, I sold it as well as I could. Um, the problem is, they, they, um, he's like, they could barely take on all the work that they're getting now. They're getting so many people through the door, and they could barely take everyone. So I said, so why don't you hire more people, or whatever? And he says they're looking. They can't find anyone that's good enough. They can't find enough quality out there. You know, they can't find people who are registered, people who are whatever. So I told them, why don't you let me run a Facebook campaign to get people to apply for one of your open seats? And he was like, yeah, I fucking love that. This kind of turned into a whole different uh, pitch, I guess, because I'm gonna be starting doing that. I'm gonna be helping his barbershop look for uh, another hire or two, another person to come in and fill one of their seats. So it went from one thing to another, but that's how life works, and I'm gonna take this one on. I'm gonna start doing research ASAP, and I'm looking forward to starting, man. Two clients in two days, baby, let's get it! So that, my friends, is going to wrap up <clears throat> episode number one of the little series of starting my own business. And after all that being said, if you are someone who is who has a small business, know someone who has a small business, thinking about starting one, don't know where to look, um, and need marketing Please feel free to reach out to me at my email listed below be glad to get you on the right track I hope you guys enjoyed I want to keep giving you all the behind the scenes of you know where it's going What my vision is and uh, how I'm how I'm gonna get there So if you enjoyed, please give that thumbs up share subscribe do whatever you got to do <clears throat> And uh, I'll see you on the next vid Peace